Yes. Uh, congratulations on the victory. Was it just this time keep it out of the Houston judges' hands? <laughs> partly. No. <laughs> well, partly. I just I want to keep it out every time if I can if I can help it. Um, but you know, just getting my hand raised, getting there, and having a successful, exciting fight—that was the goal. And um, you know, even fine for that 75k, because now you know Dana added an extra 25, a little little more incentive. Now, I mean, I'm always fighting for that 50k, but you know, I mean, it, it definitely it definitely helps. The submission—it it seems like you're going for that pretty much the entire round. Was it? Were your arms tiring out at all before you finally locked in that final submission, or legs, I should say? Yeah, my legs definitely—they um, were certainly wearing out on me. I, my foot—I was getting—it was getting harder and harder for me to like flex my foot. You know, it was starting to like break a little. She was—she almost got out of it. Um, you know. Time or two, and uh, you know, I, I had to switch up, take that angle back, and I just knew I needed to get a finish because my legs were getting very heavy, and I knew that I could not go into the next round with my legs feeling that way. You know, they felt like cement, so I had to get had to get that finish. Then the the broadcast um, talked a lot about how it seems like you just had the pure strength advantage, even in the clinch on the ground everywhere. Did you feel a sense of strength advantage in there? Well. I mean, honestly, in the, in the clinch, she was very strong in the clinch. I mean, if you saw it, you could see that I was having a hard time breaking the clinch. Uh, but on the ground and, and in the like the tie-ups, you know, I felt I felt really strong. I definitely felt like I had an advantage um, overall on the ground, especially. In the mounted triangle you set up uh, when you took her down, was that something you knew you were going to go for, or just you saw it in there and that's where you went? Man, I, I've been I've been practicing a couple of things, but uh, honestly, like. Warming up in the back, uh, Tony and I were going over some things, and that really that 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 setup happened. You know, I mean, it happened naturally in the back, and it just and it happened naturally in, in the fight. And um, you know, what you work is is what is is what happens. I mean, sometimes you know it just plays out perfectly, and that is it just happened to play out perfectly for me. And the crowd finally back in attendance. What do you make of the full capacity? It's a lot of fans, even yeah. for an early prelim. Man, I'm excited to have the fans back. Um, the the energy was there for this fight. Uh, my last fight in Vegas, I just felt like there was no energy. I felt flat, you know, and, and I think not having the crowd there really played a part because I, I feed off of the energy of the crowd, I feel like, and man, tonight it felt so good. You know, just walking out, standing there, like having the fans yell at me and, you know, wave to me and like sh trying to shake my hand and wish me good luck, you know, and even coming back after the fight, everybody wanting to take pictures and stuff. It just, it really means a lot and it really, it really helps, I think, with the fights. I mean, as you can see, everyone's getting a finish tonight. I don't know if it has to do with the fans or the bonus, but it's, it's something. <laughs> and finally, in terms of your career, uh, is there any names you want next or when you want to return after that one? Um, you know, I'm, I'm willing to return as soon as possible. Uh, I feel great, and uh, I, I want to get a couple of fights in, you know, before the end of the year. And um, as far as names, I, I'm not going to worry about that. I, I, I'm not going to worry about the rankings. I'm not going to worry about any of that. I just want to get out there and, and fight, and, and whoever it is, you know, is who it is. Um, I just want to stay on this win streak. You know, I got my, I'm back in... Okay, it's not a win streak. I got one win, <laughs> but I want to stay out of that losing streak. So I don't want that to happen again. I just want to. I just want to get back out there and fight again. Andrea, back here. Mm -hmm. Would you say this is your best performance in the octagon since you've been in the UFC today? I would say so. I mean, it is my first finish in the UFC, so I would. I would certainly say so. And I felt. I felt like my mind was there completely. Like I could hear my corner, and I was doing everything that my corner was saying. And I just. I felt. I felt like I was in the fight, you know, my mind wasn't somewhere else. How much did training in Denver help you out in front of the crowd and being, you know, you train at altitude, you don't have altitude in Texas, did that give you an extra boost when you got, were feeling the legs burned out towards the end of the second round? I guess it did. I mean, I, I didn't, you know, in the last couple of fights, I've, I have felt really exhausted and fatigued and I train hard for every fight, but, but maybe, you know, training the altitude, maybe it really did help me a little bit. Um, uh, I just, I, I felt good. I felt like after the first round, I didn't feel tired. I mean, I didn't even feel like that round was over when it was over. I mean, it went over, it went so quickly the first round did, you know, and I, I was breathing normally, you know, and I felt fine. So maybe, maybe yes, maybe the altitude did help. You say you don't care who you fight next. Do you care how quickly you get back? When would you like ideally to come back? I want to get back in as, I, I don't want to turn around and fight next weekend, obviously. I mean, if I can't because I'm, you know, suspended for seven days, but I do want to turn around and fight quickly, but I know Tony has a fight coming up, so I want to focus on that 
uh, and that's in July. So, you know, maybe after that. Do you, do you think he need a top five person, is that regardless of who it is? Do you want a top five person? Man, I don't care. You know, I just, I'm just excited to get back out there, you know, and I want to just enjoy being a fighter and, and being part of the UFC. You certainly didn't seem to, to show any extra pressure on your shoulders, but a lot of fighters coming in with the, after a few losses on the record seem to have a little pressure, want to go out there and really make an, uh, you know, an effort to get, solidify that victory. Did you feel any extra pressure coming in here today? Oh, I, I felt pressure, yes. Just not, I mean, I just constantly telling myself, I'm getting my hand raised, I'm going to win, I'm not losing this fight. You know, I kept telling myself, you know, like, I'm the best, I'm the threat, you know, she's fighting me, I'm not fighting her, you know, and just telling myself this over and over in my mind, you know, but yes, there was pressure because I am fighting Antonini. She's an incredible fighter, you know, I mean, she's a big name, you know, and she's, she's incredibly well-rounded and, you know, she gets better and she's gotten better and better and there, yes, there's pressure. And I just knew that I needed to get out there and get my hand raised. And more importantly, I just wanted to get out there and be exciting for the fans. And I, I hope it was exciting. I mean, it's not fun to watch somebody sit in a triangle for four minutes, but, um, that part is, it is what it is. <laughs> it was still actually pretty exciting to watch it, to see if you're going to get it. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, and, and just finally, going back, you even kind of mentioned yourself. You said Antonio you know, she was coming in with a big name. You know, even the commentary, sometimes it feels like you could see, like, it sort of swayed in one particular direction. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that people were coming in too high on her and maybe were overlooking you going into this fight? Honestly, I, w I did not pay attention to any of that. I don't even know um, what the statistics were. I don't know where... I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't know if like, I, I know I was the underdog for sure, but I wasn't paying attention to any of that. I wasn't listening to anything either with what the commentators were saying or any of the build up to the fight. Um, it just, to me, it just mattered for me to go out there and prove everybody that, you know, I'm, I'm, I am, I belong in the top 10, you know, and that just because I've had three uh, losses, three close decisions, you know, that it doesn't mean that I'm not still a threat in the division. You know, I am. And I hope that I just proved that. Congrats on the victory. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye.